What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I want to talk about all the different ways that you can make money in the metaverse. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so real quick, just to get us on the same page here, what is the metaverse? The metaverse is an online world and it is a virtual space that you can go to and experience. You can go to it either through a screen like your computer or you can put on a virtual reality headset like this and go in directly in virtual reality. Now, you can do a bunch of different things in the metaverse. You can go to a concert, you can have a meeting, you can play games with your friends. You can do almost infinite number of things and it is quite literally a virtual space where you can almost create anything. Now, how do we make money in the metaverse? That's what we're talking about in this video and that's what I wanna share with you. So the number one strategy and one of the most obvious things in the metaverse is because it is virtual space, it's basically Basically virtual land the first thing you can do is buy that land or buy that property in the metaverse now when you buy the property it usually comes in the form of an nft and the largest or at least the kind of biggest name in the world of buying land in the metaverse is decentraland and so decentraland is a metaverse same as all of these but in decentraland you can buy land and so here's the website if you just go to decentraland.org and then you go to marketplace you can find everything here and i have it organized by the cheapest land available and this parcel right here cost 3,750 mana. This tiny little square here, this is the smallest, cheapest piece of land that you can buy in Decentraland right now. It costs 3,750 mana, and one mana right now costs $2.77 US. So this small little piece of land right here probably costs about $7,000 US right now, and this is the smallest, cheapest piece of land that you can buy in the Decentraland metaverse which is just absolutely insane. And you can go through these different metaverses and you can see what they have to offer. You can also go to metaverse.properties, which is this company right here. And this is really interesting because this is quite literally the first kind of virtual real estate company is how they describe themselves. And if you go to invest here, you can see that they have a metaverse REIT and a REIT stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. And that is an organization that is designed to buy real estate and send money back to shareholders. And so very unique opportunity here and they're claiming to be a metaverse REIT. So I do, I like the idea, I like the concept. I have not used it yet. I have not invested my money into a company like this. I'm actually buying property directly in these platforms but it is another option for you if you're looking to buy property. The way that you make money here is, is fairly simple. You buy it and hopefully sell it at a higher price, or you can rent it out. You can put your own advertisements on it. You can advertise for somebody else's company. You can build your own house on it. You can do a bunch of different things with it, but the idea would be to buy it and try and generate some income in the meantime and then sell it for a higher price. Now, like I showed you, if you wanted to buy some property in Decentraland, you had to buy it with mana. And so mana is the token or the coin that is associated with the metaverse Decentraland. And each one of these is going to have their own token. So for Decentraland, the token is called mana. If you go to a different metaverse called Sandbox, the token is called Sand. If you go to Axie Infinity, it is AXS. And if you go to Alluvium, it is ILV. And so here, if we go to Coin Market Cap, you can see Decentraland. And this is the token associated with that metaverse. And to buy or sell anything in that metaverse, you have to use mana. And so really, really unique. And if you look at the price of mana here, ever since Facebook came out with their announcement, it has gone up from like 80 cents to a high of, I want to say it was $5 at some point, around three and a half dollars, maybe $4 here, currently trading at $2.77, but just absolutely insane. And so if you don't want to buy property in the metaverse, you can buy the token associated with that metaverse. That would be option number two. Like, so let's just look up SAND right now, S-A-N-D, and you can actually see what all of these different tokens are. So the sandbox price is $2.55, and we can look up AXI for Axie Infinity, or AXS, sorry, and you can see the price of all of these different tokens associated with their metaverse. And so if you think that metaverse is gonna absolutely blow up, but you don't wanna buy property in that metaverse just because it's a hassle, you can very simply, or you can't afford it, let's say, let's say that expense to buy property is just too much, you can buy the metaverse tokens and you can get a similar upside as long as that metaverse does well in the long term. And right here are four different options. This would be very similar to kind of like buying a stock, 
but instead you're buying the coin or the token associated with that metaverse or that is used to transact on that metaverse. Now, if you don't wanna buy individual coins and individual tokens, they do have something called the Metaverse Index. And I actually think this is a fantastic option. I really like what they're doing here. And I think it's great because the Metaverse Index basically holds an assortment of all of the different Metaverse tokens. And so here is a list of all of the different tokens that are held inside of this index. And when I say that, basically what I mean is when you buy this index, you're actually buying the entire package of all of the tokens that you see right here. And so when you go out and you buy the Metaverse Index, ticker symbol MVI for $245, you're actually getting a smaller portion of all of these different cryptos right here. And you can see that the largest allocation is in ILV and then AXS and then MANA. This is the Decentraland one. And so this is unique and this is a great opportunity here because instead of picking and choosing which Metaverse you think is gonna do well, if you invest into the index here, you actually get a broad assortment of uh, almost all of them, which is, in my opinion, a nice way to go, especially if you don't want to evaluate a bunch of them. So really nice option here. The uh, the ticker for this or, or how you look it up is MVI, and I think it's a great option personally. Now, the fourth way that you can make money in the metaverse is by creating NFTs. And so I'm not talking about land here. I'm basically talking about everything else that you can buy and sell in the metaverse. So this would include art, it would include avatar, guitars, products, buildings, wearables, basically anything that you can design on your computer, you can then upload to the metaverse. And so all you need is some very, very basic design skills. It doesn't, it's not going to take you very long to learn these skills. And if you need to learn them, you can learn them on platforms like Skillshare or Udemy. You can learn how to make all of these different things here, and then you can upload them to the metaverse and you can sell them or what would be even cooler is to custom design some of these things, custom design an avatar for people, custom design buildings to replicate their home, but in the metaverse, different applications like that, I just think it would be really, really cool, but you do have to have just some basic design level skills on the computer, but also, you could probably learn it in less than a day. That's my advice here, and I think this is a great option. Now, I'm not doing this because it just takes up a little bit too much of my time, but what I am doing very, very heavily right now is I am buying Metaverse stocks. And so I have made two videos on my YouTube channel about 15 different Metaverse stocks that you can buy into if you like this industry. And so I am heavily invested into at least six or seven of them right now. I am super, super bullish on Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Apple. I hold all four of those companies. I like all four of those companies. And if you're looking to buy some Metaverse stocks, definitely check out these two videos here. I will link them down in the description to this video, but I literally walk you through the 15 biggest Metaverse stocks that you need to check out. Now, if you don't like the stocks and you're interested more in the services, you're trying to build a business out of the metaverse and trying to build maybe a side hustle, then what I would recommend is checking out metaverse services. So what I mean by this is people wanna get into the metaverse, they wanna make their name known in the metaverse and they're gonna need some help to do that, such as creating an avatar that looks like them creating a mansion for Logan Paul in the metaverse with a nice fancy yacht or a big Lamborghini in front of his house. All of that needs to be designed and created. And so if you can do that, you can create a business out of it and you can host your services on a platform like Fiverr. So for instance, here is a gentleman, Martin Sorensen, who is offering to create a custom metaverse avatar for $196 Canadian. There's also tons of different options here. This guy will even create an open world game in the sandbox metaverse. And so there are tons of different ways that you could either buy these services and mark them up and sell them to somebody else, or you could learn how to create these services and sell them directly on Fiverr or Upwork or a number of other platforms. But either way, just the concept of people are buying literally avatars and skins and NFTs and cool shoes and Gucci flip-flops so that they can look cool walking around the metaverse, there's a huge opportunity if you're a designer or if you can just learn basic design skills, I think there's a great opportunity here. And you can sell those services on platforms like Fiverr and like Upwork. Now, if you're interested in seeing which investments I am making, particularly in the stock market, but also in the property and the land and my different cryptos, then definitely check out my Discord chat. That's where I'm posting all of my analysis, all of my trades, all of my buys, and all 
all of my investments and I am trying to build a community of investors to share their trade, share their analysis, share what they're putting their money into so that you're not sitting at home alone trying to do your own research. You can join the wealth of knowledge that we have created. You can add to it and you can be part of the community. It's $5 per month. That is it. The link is in the description down below and you get full access to me and all of my investments. I would love to have you there and if you're interested in learning more about how to invest and trade in the stock market, I have a completely free course. It's hosted on Skillshare. The link is also down below and you get two weeks of free access to the entire course. It's 10 hours long and if you can do the entire 10 hour course in under two weeks, cancel the subscription, you get everything completely free. It's literally the, the cheapest and the best free resource that you'll find online. I promise you, you won't regret it and it'll be well worth your time. And if you get any value out of this video, all I ask is that you click that like and subscribe button. I sincerely appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.